good morning everyone now i am going to discuss the second shifting theorem on inverse laplace transform first we define the or statement the theorem statement and how we can prove the second shifting theorem on inverse laplace transforms by using of this second shifting theorem we can also find the inverse laplace transforms functions okay what is the second shifting theorem second shifting theorem on inverse laplace transforms the statement of the inverse on inverse laplace transforms second shifting theorem is theorem statement if l inverse of f bar of s is equal to f of t then l inverse of e power minus a s f bar of s is equal to g of t where g of t is a step function that is f of t minus a such that for t is greater than a the function is zero for t is less than a or this g of t is equal to f of t minus a into h of t minus a where h of t minus a is a heavy side unit step function heavy side step function step function how we can prove this theorem the proof of the second shifting theorem means in this we have l inverse of f bar of s is equal to f of t by the definition of by the definition of laplace transform find out the l of g of t this is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st g of t dt here g of t function is a partition function that can be divided into two partitions one is 0 to a another one is a to infinity so this improper integral can be split into two integrals one is 0 to a e power minus st g of t dt plus integral a to infinity e power minus st g of t dt in the first partition the g of t function value is 0 it is e power minus st into 0 into dt plus integral a to infinity e power minus st in the place of f g of t that is f of t minus a dt here the first integral value is 0 so l of g of t is equal to integral a to infinity e power minus st f of t minus a dt in this case we can take t minus a is equal to one u variable then dt is equal to du next lower limit is t is 0 t is a then u equal to a minus a it will be 0 so the lower limit of u variable is 0 the upper limit is t upper limit is infinity then u is equal to infinity minus a that is infinity so upper limit of u variable is infinity therefore l of g of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity here we can write t is equal to u plus a 
substitute in the place of t e power minus s into u plus a here f of u du then write here minus su plus minus into plus minus s a here e power minus a s is a constant right outside integral 0 to infinity e power minus s u f of u d u that is equal to f bar of e power minus a s f bar of s so from this g of t is equal to l inverse of e power minus a s f bar of s if this is a second shifting theorem function if l inverse of e power minus a s f bar of s is equal to g of t okay this is the proof of the second shifting theorem in this case we have l inverse of f bar of s equal to f of t by the definition and split into partitions and applying the limits lower and upper changing the variable then we are getting the second shifting theorem inverse laplace transform what is that if l inverse of f bar of s equal to f of t then l inverse of e power minus a s f bar of s equal to g of t this g of t is in the form of set form f of t minus a that is nothing but here e exponential has minus a then f of t minus a for t is greater than that a value 0 for t is less than a and that is also equal to f of t minus a that is nothing but e power minus a s means that can be written as f of t minus a h of t minus a here h of t minus a is here we side step function. Okay, thank you.